It is 5 a.m. Good morning. Welcome to News 13 New This Morning. I'm Mike Powers. We have reached September 1st. It is Thursday, September 1st, and all the day's top stories, and there are a lot of developing news stories coming up in just a moment. But first, the weather blitz. And here's meteorologist John Smith in for Chris. Well, we do have a couple of showers out there early this morning, but they are starting to die off. We do have one shower just to the south and west of the metro, slowly trying to make its way to the metro before it gets here, though. It looks like it will start to wash itself out, so we could get a sprinkle in the metro as we go through the daybreak hours, but not much of a deal as, at all as you try to head out and get out to work this morning. Taking a look at what we have just to the west of there, we do have a couple of light showers just to the south of I-40 and to the north of the Gila Wilderness, but these showers also starting to die off so not no problems at all as we go out this morning and we do have cool temperatures out there at 49 in Alamosa 54 in Taos 68 in the metro and into the 70s down south we will be partly cloudy as we go through the morning hours then we'll bring a few more clouds and we do have a chance for another spot shower as we go through the afternoon a deputy killer goes before the state's highest court here is the morning news list. Convicted deputy killer Michael Astorga will be in front of the state Supreme Court today to try and get his death sentence overturned. Astorga was convicted of murdering Bernalillo County Deputy James McGrain Jr. more than five years ago during a traffic stop. In 2009, the state repealed the death penalty, but only for crimes committed after the repeal. Since then, Astorga's attorney has argued it should apply to Astorga as well. The state Supreme Court will hear those arguments this morning. President Obama's one-day delay of his jobs and economy speech in Congress will put him head-to-head -head with the opening game of the NFL season. The president agreed to schedule his address on September 8th after House Speaker John Boehner balked at the president's request for a September 7th speech because of a presidential debate that night. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is joining top officials from dozens of countries to hear Libya's rebels spell out what they need in financial aid and other assistance to stabilize the Arab country. Clinton left Washington last night to attend the conference scheduled for today in Paris. And a state judge has temporarily blocked Governor Susanna Martinez's administration from requiring some immigrants to recertify their driver's licenses and verify whether they continue to live in New Mexico. And that's the news blitz.